Hi my loves, welcome back. So I cannot wait to show you the new things I got from Chanel and Dior. So as you guys would have seen a couple of videos ago, I went to the amazing Dior pop-up and I finally got a chance to sit down and film this haul for you. There were so many gorgeous pieces in the spring summer collection. And first of all, I wanna show you what's in here. And this was surprising. This actually came later and was delivered and it was actually a little gift from my Fabulous SA Sun. Hi Sun if you're watching. For those of you that are in Melbourne, go see Sun. He's at Collins Street. So a little card. And this is the box. Toi de joie. What can I say? I love it. So in here, I think I know what this is because it maybe I don't. Okay, it's all got wrapping. Hold on a sec. Let me unwrap it. Okay, let's see what's in this gorgeous box. And it is, oh, so cool. So this is a little game. How fabulous is this? So, oh, I'm gonna play this with Miss S. She's gonna love this. So it's a little board game. And, well, whoops, looks like this. So it's a little board game there and Oh, this is so cute. So it's got some dice and six little colorful pieces. And I'm guessing you just have to roll and you've got to get from the start to the end. How cute is that as a gift? I really, really like that. Actually, as a family, we love playing games together. And this is just gonna be perfect for me and Miss S to enjoy together. So before I show you my Dior pieces, I think I got you guys to guess. I tried on so many of the beautiful ready to wear. You guys know also that I've been buying more ready to wear pieces, but you know what? I get asked the question, do you just always wear or Dior or Chanel? Absolutely not. I love mixing and matching it up because, you know, I love high street or vintage and then combining it with designer stuff. So I am going to try the pieces that I got on for you and then show you how I style them. And I just want to show you what I'm wearing right now because I'm a huge silk lover, as you know. And of course, this gorgeous silk dress is from Lily Silk. You guys know I work with Lily Silk for four plus years, maybe even more now. And I've actually developed a line with them, which thank you so much for all your support. I'm so glad that you guys are loving my designs. They've actually asked me to design another capsule for them. So I actually love to know what would you love to see I really want to create pieces that you guys like I was thinking maybe a silk jumpsuit or maybe another shirt or dress let me know in the comments below but uh, this video is in partnership with Lily Silk and I haven't got some of their new pieces and I am loving their new website, by the way, and their new packaging. Anyway, this dress I loved because you can't go wrong with just a classic navy blue silk dress. So how I've styled it is I've just put a simple LV belt just to belt it up and you could wear this to work, you could wear this out for brunch, but then if you take the belt off, off, it could be almost like loungewear for home. It's just loose and flowy. And even on their website that you can even use it as a nightgown because I've worn my silk PJs out as tops before. And then if you wanna take it an extra step, I have this chul skirt. So no, I actually didn't buy the one from Dior because it's like five or $6,000. So this one I got just from a local uh, boutique near my place. I think it was only like $50. And then look how much it dresses the whole look up. So just from this shirt, you can wear it three different ways. You probably can wear it much more ways, but how good does it look with this chill skirt? Just completely dresses it up and takes it to a nighttime outfit. So love this. Also, I wanna show you this outfit that I picked from their new collection. I'm just really impressed. They, uh, just seeing them grow throughout the years just makes me really happy because I've you know, been partnering them for so long. How beautiful is this camisole? Oh my goodness, I love this pleating detail. 
it's just, it looks so high end, but it's not that expensive at all. I'm actually gonna be wearing this and I've really been getting into pants. You guys know in my last clothing haul, I found a pair of really nice, kind of loose pants, but this one here is a pair of silk pants. Look at that. It's a gorgeous sort of neutral color, but what I love about it is along the side, it's cut slightly higher. And then when you wear it, it kind of looks like really loose pants, but it also can pass for a skirt as well. So it's just so flowy. It drapes so well. I love these two paired together. As I said, I'm actually gonna be wearing this out with my girlfriends and I just think it is such a cute look. Not to mention this camisole, you could wear, you could dress it down and just wear it with jeans. I also wanna let you know with Lily Silk, I have the highest discount code, but I still have my MIM15 off code. And that means you can get 15% off anything site-wide. I actually did ask them for another code, which is also the highest amongst anyone. And that's only valid for 48 hours. And that's just MIM30. So if you buy one, you get one 30% off. So Lily Silk are not going to be doing as big of discounts anymore. They've really changed. If you look at their website, they're still doing beautiful silk clothing, silk pajamas, silk pillowcases, all that beautiful stuff, but a lot more modern pieces. I love that they've changed all their packaging, all their new packaging. It's all sustainable. Well, just a lot of things that I love. So I'll leave those two codes in the description box below. And if you want to make use of it, make use of it now because their discount codes are not going to get any higher. This is the highest ever. So these two outfits, I really, really love. Next is something from Chanel. Big bag, but I didn't get it from the store because you guys know I... Don't shut from the boutique. <laughs> if you want to know why, I'll link that video up again. That video is still getting so many views. But yeah, Chanel customer service is can be hit or miss. But anyway, this video is not a rant about Chanel. I still love their product. But one of the points I mentioned in that video is that I love shopping pre-loved. And look at what I got. So I found this Chanel vintage orange suit from Vestiaire. And remember in the Dior vlog, I tried on an orange suit and I loved it, but it was so expensive. Plus they didn't have my size. I was very, very tempted to get it. And yeah, I just really like bright colors as well. And so, I am always hunting around for like bargains and looking at the pre-loved market. And I saw this pop up on Vestiaire for such a good price. So this jacket has sort of like the classic four pockets. It's got buttons, even with mirrored CC there. It comes with a little skirt. It even came with the Chanel hanger. And yeah, the skirt just looks, it's like a tweed sort of fabric like that. And then it's got two button just replicates the ones that are on the jacket. So a Chanel suit nowadays would cost you over 10 grand easy. So I bought it for 857 USD on Vestiaire. So a little tip is that if the seller does offer, make sure you can make an offer because you can make an offer 30% lower than their asking price. So I made an offer and she accepted. So I was like, sometimes they don't, sometimes you have to negotiate, but I was thrilled with this purchase. You, I think this is, yeah, the cheapest Chanel suit I've, I've bought. And I love their tweed. It's a short, sort of short fitting jacket. And as you can see me trying on here with the skirt, I've just paired it with the Lily Silk gorgeous camisole. With orange, don't be scared of bright colors. You don't have to wear a full suit like this, but you can wear it with, you know, a beautiful camisole, a beautiful silk blouse. Even navy and orange go really well together. Black. So yeah, sometimes a pop of color is just fun. And then of course you can wear it as a suit, which looks gorgeous. I've left the buttons of the jacket undone, but you can do it up as well. But this sort of color looks fabulous with denim as well. So I would completely dress this down and just wear it with jeans, but you can never go wrong with a Chanel suit or Chanel jacket. So I do encourage you look on the pre-loved market for Chanel pieces because they're ready to wear 
is getting exorbitant. Like even a jacket can cost sometimes more than 10,000. So you might not be able to find it like under a thousand, but a lot of the vintage pieces you can find for a decent price. I've bought ones for under 2000 before. So I'm just so wrapped that I did actually pause and wait, not get the Dior because I found this Chanel. Okay, what did I get from Dior? from that shopping vlog. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it above as well. I actually can't remember because I've left them in their bag and let's see what's in here. So in here, in the beautiful thick garment bag is, what's this one? Oh yes, okay. I think all you guys guess this. I think I must be too obvious in my vlogs or something, but yes. I actually did get the Trois de Jouy Scorts. I know we are in autumn and you know, it's the weather's cooling down, but they were just so cute. And I am a sucker for Trois de Jouy. And they're so comfortable because they have this elasticated back. And even though it is short, because it is shorts underneath, it, it looks like a skirt. And with the Trois de Jouy pattern, it's almost becoming like a classic for Dior. I think everyone loves it the minute they introduced it back into their collection a few years ago. And in their classic navy, again, you could wear it with a navy silk shirt. I do have another navy silk shirt, even my line, my line of Mim and Lily silk shirts. I've got a navy silk shirt there. You could wear it just with a tee and some cute sneakers that would totally dress it down and I just really like the fit. So Dior ready to wear, I do need to say this, it is pretty pricey. So I really wanted to pick pieces that are sort of more classic, not as trendy because yeah, they're expensive. So let me tell you the price of the shawl, the skirts, the skirts, the skirt was 2,800. Australian dollars. So yes, very pricey, but I just think this is a classic. I love it. And yeah, because it's already got this gorgeous print, I would just pair it with something sort of like plain on the top, not to take away from it. But no, I wouldn't sort of go head to toe and wear the whole thing Dior. But isn't this cute? And talking about shorts, I know not everyone wants to spend that amount, but I did want to show you one that I already own from Lily Silk. This is just a classic pair of black silk shorts. You can't go wrong. It also has the elasticated back, so very similar fit, but this one just looks more like shorts. So comfortable. I would even wear shorts in winter or autumn winter and just pair it with tights and some ankle boots. And yeah, I love these so much. So I just wanted to show you that as an option. And this shirt, I wore the, these two actually the other day. This is a gorgeous pinstripe, slightly oversized shirt. Is their SOS shirt. It comes in this blue pinstripe, it comes in uh, with brown pinstripe, it comes in just plain ivory and black. I wanna get the plain ivory one as well. This is, it's just effortless. You could wear this with denim. You could, you know, leave it loose. It actually looks really good, loose and flowy as well. You could tuck it in. You could also, when I'm wearing it with the shorts, just do a half tuck or a full tuck. What is it called? Like a French tuck. That's always, you know, makes it a bit more put together. But everyone needs like a striped silk shirt in their collection. I just think it's effortless. I just wanted to show you another option for shorts as well because I mix and match all my pieces in my wardrobe with the designer pieces that I own. And then finally, what's in this massive bag here? So let me show you. So a lot of you also guessed I got a bag, but spoiler alert, the one that I wanted wasn't there. So I'm still thinking about it now, but I think a few of you guessed. I actually, that day I fell in love with their ready to wear. I'm just getting more and more into their ready to wear. So in here, oh my goodness, hold on a sec guys. All right, in here, in this one here, I picked, what did I pick from here? So the Dior collection, if you see it from the vlog, was very, very colorful, but they also had some beautiful classics in neutral colors. 
and I got this skirt. How cute and classic is this? So this is just like a short mini skirt in the classic canage print. It's sort of like that puffy, what's it like that puffy material? So I just really liked it. This was the last one in my size. So I did get it in a size 36, but the 38 would have fit as well. And yeah, it's just a very classic cut. This will not date. The canage is not going anywhere. The Lady Dior is not going anywhere. So anything that has this canage sort of pattern, if you wanted to buy your first piece of Dior, I would go with that. Like I don't own heaps of Dior ready to wear pieces. I still buy them pre-loved as well. But pieces like this that I feel like I can wear for many years to come, I will splurge on. So as you can see me wearing, it is just a really cute A-line design, A-line sort of silhouette. And yep, I have just worn this shirt again with it. That really dresses it down. Plus this shirt is just so relaxed fit. I feel like when you wear something fitted, it does go well when you wear something a little bit looser, but of course you can just tuck the front in as well. And yeah, the back is longer, which I really like. So that's a look you could go for as well, mix and match. But again, you could just wear this with a plain tee. You could, you know, it's black. It goes with everything. So the price of this one was 2,800 Australian dollars. Sorry guys, I read the receipt wrong. The shorts were 3,000 because they put here pants, so I got confused. Anyway, so this was 2,800. So yeah, this was the cheapest of the lot. Still expensive, but a forever classic. And then lastly, Yes, another Dior ready to wear piece, but I had to get this one because there is a theme. And in here, I picked, dun dun dun, ta da! This gorgeous canage cropped little jacket. So this one here was actually probably the most worth it out of the lot considering it is sort of like a shirt jacket. So this was 3,600. So yes, this is the set, if you want it, like the set to the skirt. And yeah, this runs true to size. I just got it in my, is it? Yeah, I got it in S. And again, I don't think you can go wrong with a classic jacket like this with the canage print. Of course, I'll be wearing them together. You could wear it with some ankle boots. You could wear it with tights and like a long sleeve. I would wear it separate. It's just so versatile. That's why I decided to splurge and get these pieces because one, they're black. Two, they're classic. And I feel like these two are pieces you can wear all year round. You can layer this in winter or even in spring, summer. It's still quite lightweight. And even something like this, even though it's in a really casual fabrication, you absolutely can dress it up. I do wanna bring down this and show you. Don't think you just have to go with plain silk shirts. I have silk shirts that are really embellished. I have plain ones, I've got frilly ones, I've got flowery ones. <laughs> you get the drift. But this one here, how beautiful is this diamante detail? So you could wear this with those black shorts I showed you before, the silk black shorts with some killer heels. That would be gorgeous. Or you could, you know, just do a whole black look and by just combining different textures, it just changes things up a little bit. And I think, you know, it makes it look a little bit edgier and a bit more dressed up. So yeah, there's just so many ways that in which you can mix and match the designer pieces with what you currently own or more affordable options as well. Because yeah, even if I could, I wouldn't want to wear head to toe designer anyway. But I am in love with my new Dior pieces and my Chanel ready to wear jacket. And don't forget that with my Lily Silk code, there's a 48 hour code where you can buy one and get anything 30% off, that's just MIM30, or my 15% off site white code, which is just MIM15 off. So all the pieces I've shown today, I will link down below. I don't make any commission from the code, guys. I had to ask them especially for this since, you know, the discount codes are going to be lowered soon. So take, make use of this opportunity, whether you want to buy some basic silk pieces or pillowcases. Silk is really good for your hair. I get asked what I sleep on. It definitely helps with the condition of my hair. 
and or you can even shop my current MIM collection. There's still lots of options there. You guys, I'm not going to talk about that in this video, but yes, please do let me know. I really want to, on the next one, design things that you guys want to see. Please let me know your feedback. You guys mean the world to me, or you're my fam, and I've always got time to read your comments and yeah, just create products that you love. And I just want to thank you so much for supporting me in this co-creation that I've done with them the last couple of years. So yeah, it's exciting and I can't believe, oh, we're nearly going to hit 300,000 soon. So I'm planning something big. Big, big, big. So I'm excited for that. So that is it for this video, guys. My new Chanel Dior and some of my new silk pieces that I got from Lily Silk. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys heaps. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.